Good afternoon and welcome to another Draw with Don. Well today I'm going to draw, guess what, an L. Well you know everybody knows I like L's and would you believe my very very first book was called The Owl Who Couldn't Give a Hoot. Now today I'm going to draw The Owl and he was called Barney. Very original name. <laughs> so this is a barn owl. And we're ready to draw. I hope you've got your pencils and paper ready. Got my marker. So what I'm going to give you an idea is, first thing that we do is work out the shape. Now you can do this with a pencil, a soft pencil. I normally suggest an HB pencil, anything like that. So we start off by drawing a shape like this. Now the reason why I'm using the marker is so you can see. And so that's roughly the head. And the body is going to be roughly down like this. And then we put a line through like this. So this is really uh, dividing up the head somewhat. And across like this is another line and we'll indicate where the eyes will be, the bill, the beak, and where the feet will be. And roughly around here is where we'll have the tail. And then the wing will come, sit roughly like that. So if you try this first, it'll give you an idea of the shape of the owl. So now, Head first, I'm going to take this down and we're going to draw the yeah. L. Just give you a quick reminder of what it looks like. So this one obviously is slightly different pose than that, but you get the idea. So we start off with the eyes first and we're doing two egg shapes like that. One there and one behind like that. So you can see one egg shape, one slightly behind this like. In here, we're going to draw two, what looks like black grapes. I'm getting with the drawing around corners. And here's the bill, it comes out like this, down into a bit of a point, back up, and up into a bit of a smile like that. So that's all done with the one movement. Now, the mouth is open so, it's like a little bit of a sausage comes out like this, back up like that. And then off we go, and we make this part black, and this is just to indicate the tongue. And here's the lower part of the bill, and up here, just going to put in a couple of little eyebrows like that. And the next thing we do is we draw this lovely kind of, it's like a heart shape. And if we're happy with that, then we go on like that. And right across and down this way. Off we head down like that, and then down like that. Now you want to re remember, we're going to put in the feet around here somewhere. So we just indicate the feet there as well. And we'll finish them in a moment. Then this line goes right across like this. And this is the wing, it goes right down like that. And it goes off like that. And here's a little indication of the tail. And then I'm just going to put in a few little lines like that. These are little squiggly lines. And this is to suggest uh, the wing folded up. And in the folds, there's different parts. You have the primary feathers, 
and the secondary feathers and things like that. But we're drawing a cartoon, so we're just going to have a bit of fun. And I'm going to put a few little dots in there like that. People will like doing those little sounds. Boom, 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 boom. And here, some black marks because it has lovely markings. A few more dots up there. So the amazing thing about the owl is that it has this beautiful plumage. Uh, if you see it up close in real life. But for the moment I'll just finish off like this. And here's the feet. So, a few more dots up there. And a, little, a small little circle in there. So he looks fairly happy, doesn't he? Hope you are too. Uh, I'm just going to indicate a bit of a moon like this. Now, so that's basically my, my owl. And I'll put a tiny little bit of a perch there if you can see it. So when you're drawing, you can take your time. But this is just to give you a rough idea how to draw one of my favourite birds, the barn owl. And he's called Barney. And I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of color on it. And here's my brush and some water. And I'm just using a little bit of blue. I'm using a tiny bit of acrylic. You can use watercolor, crayons, colored pencils, color markers, whatever. And normally when one is coloring, uh, one that works on a flat surface, but I'm, I'm not. <laughs> so, it's a nice color blue, isn't it? Brings it alive. Let's see. I'm doing this very quickly, but you can take your time doing this. Just a little bit more down here. And just before it runs off the page, I'm going to give it a little dab. It's tissue. Now, one more colour, and this time, this other colour, go on the plumage. And I happen to be using a colour called Naples Yellow. And the other one was called Ultramarine Blue, just to let you know. So the great thing is about drawing, you can have hours of fun with a pencil and paper, nothing fancy. And you can also get the rest of the family involved, they won't. And I'll put a little bit in there for the mouth. And just some around there. So very simple, very quick, just to give you a little indication of the Barn Owl cartoon version of it. And a little trick I used to suggest to people is that if they want to draw with each other, one person makes a shape with a pencil. Then they pass it to the other person and they, they add to, onto that shape. And then they pass it on to somebody else if there's a few or four or five people in, in, in the room. And that's another bit of fun. I'll show you that in more detail next time. But listen, thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Because we'd love to see the little pictures you've done. Okay? So thank you all. Until the next time, goodbye. <coughs>